Hello again. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about manufacturing. But instead of jumping right into Odoo, we'll first learn a little bit about how manufacturing works. So I'll explain the usual way a product is created and which department uses what. The nice thing about Odoo is that it's an all-in-one solution where every step of the process is managed through the same application. So in a usual manufacturing process, the first step will be the engineers designing the final product. They usually work on a computer-aided design, also known as CAD, such as AutoCAD or Autodesk. Once they design the product in CAD, they will create a bomb or bill of material. Here's one for a bicycle. As you can see, it's quite simple, but it references every product and sub-product going into the bike. We'll see more about bombs in a subsequent video. So once the bomb is done, the responsibility will shift to the manufacturing engineering team. They're responsible for routings, worksheets, and work centers. A routing is a set of steps a product goes through for production. Worksheets are the instructions for the manufacturing operator. And work centers are the places where the production is being conducted. They put the engineer's plans in motion. Once everything is decided, we'll need to start buying the items required in our manufacturing process. So we'll go to another team. Purchase, also known as procurement. They'll disperse requests for quotations or purchase orders. Once the items arrive at our plant, they'll be received by the inventory team. Good inventory management is key in manufacturing, so you'll need a great flow for your process to be seamless. Once you have everything you need, work can start. Then the manufacturing foreman will create a manufacturing order and manage the planning of the manufacturing operators. Then the manufacturing operators can start production following a work order, sometimes on a tablet. After the products are produced, we can deliver. The inventory team will prepare the order for shipping. Once the final product has been delivered, a customer might report an issue with it. This will start a new process, which requires a new department, the quality team. When a quality alert is triggered, either by someone in the company or a customer, we proceed to a root cause analysis. Once we find the cause of the issue, for example, if it's a component issue, we can trigger a control point at the receipt of our products. If it's a problem of design, we'll issue an engineering change order, or ECO, which in turn will trigger a new updated bomb to correct the issue. The last thing we need is a maintenance program. There are two types of maintenance, corrective and preventative. With corrective maintenance, you'll fix an already existing issue. This means fixing what's broken. For preventative maintenance, an example would be if you notice that your equipment tends to fail after a certain number of uses. It's a good idea to do some maintenance before it breaks. This will prevent your, pr pr your production from being blocked. The really nice thing about Odoo is that you can stay in the same software for all of your needs and you won't need to juggle 10 different applications anymore. This concludes our overview of manufacturing. I hope you'll join us in the subsequent videos where we'll go more in depth over each feature in Odoo.